Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at a very unique neural network or a model Diberta version 3 base. This model has been specifically fine-tuned for natural language processing tasks. NLI in the model's name stands for Natural Language Inference. We will be installing this model locally and then we will do few examples of classifications to see how this model works. Before I show you the installation and the detail of this model, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Let me take you to my local system where we'll be installing it so you can see that i am running this open 22.04 and i have this gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram courtesy masked compute let me clear the screen and now let me create a conda environment to keep everything separate i'm creating it with python 3.11 and calling it nli while it happens, let me give you a bit more overview of this model. So the context length of this model is around 1280 and it has been fine tuned for 250k steps on various tasks which is really good. Okay, so our Conda environment is created. Let's install some of the prerequisites which are our usual suspects like torch, transformers and stuff. So let's wait for it to get installed. And while that happens, let's discuss this model a bit more. So this model has been oversampled using NLI or natural language interest tasks from data sets like control and doc NLI. It has been also trained on diverse data sets like help steer, logical reasoning task, folio, OA, double ST, RLHF, linguistic oriented NLI task, task source DPO, fact verification tasks and various other things. So if you are looking for a backbone model for your as a reward model for your classifiers fine tuning, this model could be a very good choice. And another cool thing is that it has got zero shot validation performance on many tasks. When we say zero shot validation or learning, it means the ability of model to perform a task or make predictions without having seen any prior examples of, of training data for that specific task. In other words, the model has not been explicitly trained on the task it's been asked to perform. So this model can be used for zero shot entailment based classification, natural language inference, and also task for adapter and a lot of other stuff. Okay, so our prerequisites are also installed. Let's install our Jupyter Notebook so that we could install and run this model and we are going to launch it in the browser. So let's wait for it to get launched and then we will play more. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, all the prerequisites are done. Let me first import torch here and then let's import the pipeline for from transformer and then you can see that I'm going to first download this model task for Diberta based long nil and first we are going to check it on the zero shot classification which we just discussed so let me run it the model is very very uh, small just under 800 meg so let's wait for it to finish okay so model is downloaded and so is a tokenizer i have cleared the screen next up let's see how this works on classification task and we are doing zero shot classification it means model hasn't seen this data before or hasn't been trained on this example so the text is one day i will see the world and the candidate labels for this test text is travel cooking and dancing and then model is going to use its classifier which we have obtained from this pipeline of hugging face transformer and then we are passing it the text and candidate labels and then we are printing out the response of the model so let's do it so there is a response and you can see that it has assigned score to each label. So this was a sequence or text travel and these were the label. Now look at the score. So for travel, the score is very high 0.96 for dancing. It is just 0 0.02 for cooking. It is even less. So it means that model has classified it perfectly well. Let's try out another example. 
Now in this next example, we are just doing text classification without any label or in other words, we are primarily doing NLI or natural language inference with this pipeline. And then I'm just giving it this text that there is a cat and text where is um, there is a black cat. So basically this is uh, the first one is prim premise and the other one is hypothesis. That premise says that there is a cat and hypothesis is that there is a black cat. So let's see uh, how it labels it and assigns it the score as they are quite similar. So let me run it. And there you go. You can see label is neutral and the score is very high. And this warning, this is telling us that we could use GPU here. So all you need to do is to just do this device is equal to and then CUDA. It's a small model. You can even run it on CPU if you like. So let me run it. This will be gone yeah you see so now it is very very high and now in the next example we are just simply installing taskNet if you remember I mentioned that it also works with task source adapters and the list list of tasks it supports is already available in the model config.json and it is more efficient than zero shot since it requires only one forward pass for example but of course it is less flexible so let me run it so it is installing the task net and it is then doing the uh, um, NLI with it. So let's wait for it to finish. And first time it is going to download a lot of stuff. Then it has built the, all the steps which are included in that data set. And there you go. You have received the response where the entailment score is this 0.49 and then 0.81 for the neutral one. And of course, you can just utilize it your own data as much as you like. Another thing which I wanted to show you is that if you want to fine tune it on your own data set, all you need to do is to just use these three lines and that's it. So this is where you are specifying your own data set and then you are just using the trainer.train from Hugging Face or you can even use it from here and then go from there. It is going to take a bit of, fair bit of time but it can be done with just three lines. So this is how easy it has become these days to do the fine tuning. So pretty interesting model, I would say. Um, try it out, let me know how you go. I'm definitely going to drop the link to it in video's description. They have also given some really cool information around their, um, how they have configured the tasks and stuff. So for example, if you go to files section here, and then if you go to uh, config.json, and you open it you will see a lot of information there around architecture and then um, you know let me go down these are all the tasks which i was talking about big bench and stuff and data sets a lot of other good information is there so if you are if you want to delve more deeper you can check it out let me know what do you think i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.